Good afternoon, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, back again with the Russian Rod Pentod uh, Band One Modulator. Um, we've tied a wee bit this afternoon. We didn't get an awful lot of time to, with it, to be fair. Um, we've just added a, a coil, uh, like a tuning coil, on the output, and this is the coax that's going on to the TV for testing. Um, We've also discovered a better a way of um, taking away the hooking at the top. Um, the if we use the um, the positive side of the uh, the the heater, the filament, um, we seem to improve the sink tips, uh, run ground in it to to ground. If we put it on the the, the filament feed it's better. Now I haven't decoupled that as yet, which I'll need to down to ground, um, but. Well, we're using a different telly as well today. We're using a Philips TV yet, and we've got good results with this. Um, we've got the banding, of course, which we, nothing we can do about. I'll try and do what I've done before. Reduce, oops, that's the wrong control. Uh, we'll try and reduce the contrast and the brightness. That's the contrast at minimum. I'll take the brightness down and see. I don't know whether you can, that's going to help. In fact, I might even turn the light off. Uh, there we go. That's the that's because the light's coming in through the blind. Believe it or not, it's still light. <laughs> there we go. We can see the, the, the gratings on the top of the test card there. And all the way down to the bottom, there's there's no ringing, there's nothing. The top is straight. We've, we've cured that issue. Um so it's looking very nice indeed. Uh the only as I say, the only circuit to changes has been as to ground the uh um the earth from the, the the signal source to the uh, uh, positive side of the filaments it gives it a little bit more positive bias. Um, the, the Aurora is DC coupled, uh, but there's no current involved here because your your input impedance is extremely high. Um, the grid resistor is a one meg, so it's not going to affect the Aurora in any way. Um, whether or not this is going to work successfully with other video sources, I don't know. I don't have any other except for the Hedgehog, which I'm going to try as well. Um, but if you look at this test card here, you can see how clean it is. Uh, beautiful. Um, superb resolution. Absolutely superb. And as I say, the, the, the only other small change I made to it was the value of the choke on the... Um, oscillator which is now a 470 micro henry um, and there's a, a small choke and the input to the uh, the grid of 470 micro henrys if we look at it on the the grid on the scope uh, we see there's a little rf bleeding obviously from the oscillator back into the grid um, without the choke the picture's negative so with a, another 470 micro henry choke in the grid uh, it cures that completely so we need that to uh, we need that choke in there as well um it seems to be the optimum value and give us uh, the best results overall so that's that's that put the light back on there we go and here's the the circuit here and as i say it's running away quite nicely a bit more ht this time i've, I've added another nine volts and uh, it seems to be about the optimum voltage it needs a little bit more than the pantry transmitter for medium wave um, but that's fine and the uh, still continuing on with the 1.25 volts for the, from the, the, uh, the, the valve stone cold can't feel anything from it I need to check the current but I don't think the current will be any more than about uh, it'll be less than a milliamp I'm sure it will be but we'll check later but uh, I mean that's it I'm going to tidy up a bit more uh, obviously tidy up this mess here I'm going to decouple the heaters filaments as well better now, there is a point one in circuit right enough but uh, uh, I'll it might need a bit more from this side. Um, even going to the actual filament side of it, not the battery side, I mean, it cures the hooking uh, completely. So I just thought I'd give it a little bit more. But the sink, the sink tips are now fine. Uh, we've got 30% sink, so everything's good. Um, I'll get a wee look at it, I think, on the uh, detector off the off one of the sets I've got. Probably this TV, it's a bit easier to work on than the, the, uh, the Philips, uh, sorry, the Sony. Well, but unfortunately you can't really get a great idea of how good this is uh, because of the banding this, this phone tends to do uh, I really should be starting to do my videos with a um, a different device uh, but this is just so handy you know uh, but it's very bright it's very clear it's very sharp 
Um, the light back off, I don't think. You know, it's, it's never going to. It might. It, you might get the odd one where it, it, it locks up, but unfortunately, this is not a, a suit. No. Oh, something's happened. What have I done? I'll probably pull the aerial out of the back of the telly. <laughs> it's gone weak. Straight. Ah, yeah, the wire's come off the... Well, there you go, that's an interesting thing. The wire had just come off the... Uh, I was leaning on with the, my, my foot. The wire from the, the output coil to the uh, the coax has just come off. And we still have a picture. Yeah. Uh, so it just, just shows you this. Uh, it's snowy. It is snowy. You maybe you can see the snow there now. Uh, but there you go, it just shows you. Now even even with uh, unloading it, uh, there's no ringing, um, it's still very good. Uh, so I would say the output from this is probably maybe about the same as an Aurora or a, um, a Hedgehog, maybe slightly more to be fair. Um, so it's quite, uh, it's quite reasonable in that respect. So the next thing to do of course is to make up a, a sound stage. Uh, but I don't have a suitable crystal. Um, I'll probably order one from Quartz Lab and uh, we'll then go and do some sound on it. So just to give you an idea, the component count at the moment is uh, one filter capacitor. It's a choking binary, you can't see it. So that's one, two, uh, grid resistor, three, decoupler, four, another resistor, five, the cap from the bottom of the crystal, six, the crystal itself, seven, uh, the choke, eight, uh, this is a decoupler for HT, nine, the output coil, ten, and the valve itself, uh, eleven, and this resistor down here, which is the resistor to feed the, the filaments. So that's thirteen. So there you go, thirteen components. Uh, we'll not say anything about luck. <laughs> but there you go, thirteen components. Uh, and we, the, the opposite one will be the same thirteen, uh, probably need a couple of resistors to uh, balance the uh, uh, the output as well so uh, so you're you're talking about uh, 26 28 we'll say 30 components at the very most if you you batteries you've got to inc i suppose you can include them as well so not a lot to make a very simple modulator but there we go simple simple modulator works fine um so that's the video side of it uh, it needs to be tidied up obviously uh but getting there though it's, it's tidying this been <laughs> uh, but we are getting there and it is uh, it is working well so there we go okay guys thanks for looking take care now bye 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 bye